the reason we're here today is to, to launch this project. As you know, it's an important project for um, uh, not only Sierra Leone, but all of the, uh, the, the countries that have been affected by Ebola. Um, the rationale of the project is really um, a first response to um, this huge crisis that has impacted um, these countries by really um, supporting economic recovery activities and also um, supporting sustainable um, development. So um, this project definitely fits um, overall in the sustainable development growth framework. What this agenda um, has uh, in terms of principle is totally embedded in this project. First, we have this imperative that is to leave no one behind, which is basically to reach um, to the furthest of the further of the poorest of the poor. So which is basically to, to ensure that the poor are not you know, left behind and are provided opportunities and access to resources and so on. One, another imperative is this one of integration, which is to make sure that we do not work into silos, we do not have sectoral approaches, that we foster an approach that includes and creates synergies between all pillars of sustainable development, that is the economic pillar, the social pillar, and uh, also you know, the environmental pillar. So this project actually takes into account all those, those constraints. First, leaving no one behind. Here you, you can see from the project that what we're doing is really to target the poorest, notably youth and women. Second, the integration part. You've seen the broad partnership that has been built around this project. So this is definitely a participative and an inclusive process where everyone is really doing its best to support this, uh, this response, this post-Ebola response. Another very important aspect is the financing part. Um, you know, it's um, always difficult when you have such, um, such an impact and you need resources to actually um, bring, bring about a response. And what we're doing uh, within UNDP is to not only um, support uh, domestic resource mobilization as a first step, because this is what everything should be starting from, African country has resources. So the idea is to see how we can best support the efforts to mobilize those resources. And one such um, area is this initiative that we call Tax Inspectors Without Borders that we are uh, doing in partnership with OECD. And that really supports the capacity of the, the National Civil Service to improve their um, resource mobilization. Uh, another area where we also support um, the financial and the funding of this agenda is the, uh, the area of um, really engaging with the private sector. Engaging with the private sector on different levels. Uh, really using um, every financial innovation that is available. And one such innovation is what we call social impact bonds, for instance, by which um, a country um, will, will partner with um, a, the private sector to implement you know, um, projects that are really targeting the poor. And um, based on um, commonly agreed um, results, the private sector will get a refund only and only if it you know, reaches and achieves the, the agreed results. Another area in, where we, in which we are very active is what we call also the impact investment sector, which is um, um, initiatives that are really geared towards uh, building the, uh, uh, the opportunities in terms of mobilizing resources. And the way it's done is that um, we promote in, in investment that respects the benefits, of course, um, these are private sector, they need to make profits, but they need to pay attention to environment and also social um, concerns.